one of the most feared and successful pirates ever to set sail, wasn't a black-bearded swashbuckler in the Caribbean, but a Chinese woman who commanded a fearsome fleet of over 1,800 pirate ships. Her name was Ching Shi, and while she'd go on to become a pirate lord, her beginnings were much more humble. She was born into a poor family and worked all kinds of jobs at a young age just to make ends meet. But all that changed forever in 1801, the year she met a Chinese buccaneer named Zhong Yi, commander of a well-known crew of pirates known as the Red Flag Fleet. The two hit it off and Zhong Yi wanted to get married. In 1801, Ching Shi agreed, but with certain stipulations. She wanted to share leadership 50-50 and split all of the captain's loot in exchange for her hand in marriage. Zhong Yi agreed, and just like that, Ching Shi was plucked from obscurity and was suddenly sailing the high seas along with her pirate husband, learning all the tricks of the trade and becoming quite formidable herself. They led an alliance of Chinese pirates who were all color-coded by their flags. Black, white, blue, yellow, and green, all led by Zhong Yi and Ching Shi's red flag fleet. For the next six years, the couple commanded their fleet side by side, pillaging and pirating their way around the South China Sea, wreaking havoc everywhere they went. It almost sounds kind of sweet if they weren't bloodthirsty pirates. But that ended with a shock on November 16, 1807, when Ching Shi's husband and co-captain died after being swept overboard in a particularly pesky storm, possibly even a tsunami. The death rocked the Red Flag fleet and left Ching Shi in a tough spot. Several other pirates quickly started vying to fill the power void left by her husband. But clearly, Ching Shi was a force to be reckoned with, because she quickly managed to take control of the entire fleet herself, commanding somewhere between 50,000 and 70,000 pirates. As you might imagine, this was becoming quite a problem for the Chinese emperor. The Red Flag fleet was sinking so many ships that even the British and Portuguese Navy had active orders to steer clear of Ching Shi's fleet. There seemed to be no easy way to defeat them on the high seas. The Red Flag fleet was simply too powerful, so instead the Chinese emperor took a different tack. He offered them a deal. If they agreed to disband their pirate fleet and stop terrorizing the coastline and seas, the emperor would agree to pardon them for their crimes and let them return home with a clean slate and all the plunder they had pillaged over the years. It was a pretty great deal, so the Red Flag fleet decided to accept the offer, thus ending the fearsome reign of Ching Shi, whose rise from poor commoner to pirate lord was just as unlikely as the easy end to her pirating career. She went on to remarry and open a gambling house in her home province where she grew up. Not a bad ending for one of China's biggest buccaneers. After all, most pirates don't exactly get a happily ever after, do they?